Hello friends, since we have been discussing about the fatty acid metabolism and now we are at a point where fatty acids have been activated as it has been discussed in the previous video, the activation of fatty acids. Now let's move on and see how these fatty acids are transported into mitochondrial matrix. So here we will be discussing about carnitine carrier system or simply we can say carnitine shuttle. In the carnitine shuttle or we can say carnitine carrier system there is a transport of activated fatty acid from cytosol to mitochondria because the fatty acid activation occurs in cytosol or more preferably in endoplasm reticulum then there is a transport towards the mitochondria for beta oxidation here we can see there is activation of fatty acid in cytosol so we have activated fatty acid in cytosol and this activated fatty acid is transported to mitochondria it must be noted here that only the long chain fatty acids need carnitine carrier system to get transported to the mitochondrial matrix. On the other hand, we have short chain fatty acids that are transported as such into the mitochondrial matrix without any shuttle or any carrier system. So only 12 plus carbon chain fatty acids are transported to the mitochondrial matrix via this shuttle. After getting into the matrix, whether it is long chain fatty acid or short chain fatty acid, there is always a beta oxidation that is the degradation of fatty acids now let's see in detail how this carnitine shuttle works in we have a barrier here in the form of inner mitochondrial membrane that is between cytosol and mitochondrial matrix on the left we have cytosol and on the right we have matrix in the first part of reaction that occurs in cytosol is between fatty acyl coa and carnitine so these two molecules react together and give off two different molecules coenzyme a or simply coa and fatty acyl carnitine that's fatty acyl combining to carnitine molecule and this reaction is catalyzed by an enzyme carnitine acyl transferase first so now the fatty acyl is bound to carnitine so now the fatty acyl bound to carnitine easily passes via inner mitochondrial membrane and gets into matrix. In order to get the fatty acid oxidation, we need the fatty acid bound to coenzyme A again. That's in its original activated form, which was in cytosol. So here in the matrix, fatty acyl carnitine reacts with COA molecule and gives off carnitine molecule back. And finally, we get our target molecule also, that's fatty acyl COA. And this reaction is catalyzed by an enzyme carnitine acyl transferase 2 or we can say transferase 2. The carnitine molecule will go back to the cytosol while it will continue the same set of reactions. And on the fatty acyl CO in the matrix, the oxidation will occur. That's beta oxidation will occur. So this is all about carnitine shuttle or carnitine carrier system. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.